Hurry, come on in. Orbit says he's got a high-flying surprise to show us. Look what I made. It's a paper kite. Wow, I love it. Can I try it? Actually, you can try your own kite. I made one for each of you. Aw, thanks, Orbit. <laughs> You're welcome. Here's one with a wrench on it for TK and one with rockets for Rob. Thanks. Cool. So what are we waiting for? Let's fly them. But wait, we can't fly kites in here. There's no wind. Greasy gears, you're right. We need to find a windy place. That sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need a place to fly our new kites. Oh, I love kite flying. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Tree planet. That's a cool place to relax in the shade. True, but our kites might get tangled in all those tree branches. Ooh, snow planet! Cool place, but maybe too cool. We might get frozen in a snowstorm if we go there, Orbit. Hey, that looks like a safe place. Windy planet, excellent choice. Now, get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone, get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop, Windy Planet. Overheated. The wind from this fan should help cool you off. Oh, thanks, TK. I don't get it. The kites are supposed to catch the wind and fly up high. Hey, has anyone noticed that none of the windmills are turning and none of the flags are flapping either? Uh huh? So? Well, they both move by wind power. So if the windmills aren't turning and the flags aren't flapping, that means there's no wind. No wind on the windy planet? Greasy gears. That's like no popcorn on the popcorn planet. Or no peanuts on the peanut planet. Or no snow on the snowball planet. Or no meatballs on the... Okay, we get it, Orbit. But the main thing is, no wind means no kite flying. Wait, maybe we can use TK's fan to fly our kites. Try it, TK. Okay, but I'm not sure it'll make enough wind. Three, two, one, lift off! Huh? 
Looks like we'd need a fan as big as one of those windmills. Unless... What if we had a kite that doesn't need one to fly? Wait here. I'll be right back. While he's off doing that, I think we've got a new mission to solve. The mystery of the missing wind. Yes, this is the Windy Planet, so the wind must have gone somewhere. Ooh, I love a mystery. Maybe the windmills will give us a clue. Come on! Whoa! These things sure are big. I wonder what they do. Windmills use wind power to do a lot of things like producing electricity or even grinding flour for bread. Hey, look at this. It looks like a control panel. Ooh, maybe that lever starts the windmill turning. Except wind makes windmills turn, Emma, not pulling levers. That's right. I keep forgetting. Then I wonder what it's for. Hey, everyone, look what I made. It's a robo-kite. Robo-kite? It's powered by mini-jets, so we don't need any wind. It flies by remote control. But doesn't that take all the fun out of flying a kite orbit? Just watch. Huh? Huh? Pretty neat, huh? I guess. But it isn't the same as flying a real kite. But you can do tricks with my robo-kite. Watch! Wind. Hey, look! Huh? That flag's flying! That means there's wind! The windmill! Wait a minute! Windmills don't make wind! Wind makes windmills turn! Maybe these windmills are different! Huh? huh? Maybe these windmills do make wind. You know, like TK's fan. Then that would mean they're not really windmills. They're giant fans. Crazy gears, they're all giant fans that make the windy planet windy. And I think I know how to turn them on. I'll bet this is the on switch. Hooray! You did it, Rob! Yay! Now there's lots of wind on Windy Planet. And you know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Look at them go! Your paper kites fly great, Orbit! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd say that's a big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we went to the Windy Planet to play with our kites. But for some reason, our kites wouldn't fly. That's when we noticed that the flags weren't flapping and the windmill wasn't turning. TK taught us that windmills use wind power to do a lot of things, like produce electricity and grind flour for bread. 
But without any wind, the windmill wouldn't work. We soon discovered it wasn't a windmill at all. It was a giant fan. We just had to turn it on. We also learned that things aren't always what they seem. And we finally got to fly our kite. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Windy Planet. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, <laughs> hi, everyone. Just in time to help me find the others. We're playing hide and seek. Come on. Ready or not, here I come. Ooh, nothing gets my gears going like a good game of hide and seek. One, two, three on orbit. Huh? Aw, I'm always the first one who gets found. <laughs> That's because you're always the first one I see, Orbit. One, two, three on TK. Huh? <sighs> this time you found me even faster than the last time we played. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three on Emma. Huh? That sure didn't take long. It never does. There just aren't enough hiding places on our spaceship. Hmm. We need to find a place to play a really good game of hide and seek. Yes, that's right. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. we can play a really fun game of hide and seek. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. A soccer planet? Soccer's fun, but that's not what we want to play. <laughs> the clock planet. We know what time it is. Time to play hide and seek. <laughs> oh, that looks like a good place. Yes, the hide-and-seek planet. The perfect choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
looks like a good hiding spot. Oops. Sorry, Squeak. I didn't know this was your hiding spot. I'll find somewhere else to hide. Huh? Hey, what's this? A hat machine? It looks like it's just my size. Nothing gets my gears going like a good game of hide and seek. And this looks like it's going to be the best one ever. Nope, no one under there. Oh, I sure hope he didn't see me. Hey, who was that? Huh? Hmm. How'd this get here? <laughs> Ra, look out! The broom! One, two, three on TK! Never mind me. I just saw that broom floating in the air. <laughs> A broom can't float, TK. Well, this one did. I saw it. It was floating all by itself. <laughs> well, you don't have to laugh at me. Well, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. <laughs> Ooh, I spy with my invisible eye some more fun for Invisible Orbit. One, two, three on me. One, two, three on whoever was tickling my feet. Well, we're all here, so it must have been Orbit. <laughs> but I don't see him. <laughs> well, I hear him. I'm over here. One, two, three on. Squeak? Oh, where's Orbit? I'm over here. I'm stuck under this. Get it off me. Don't worry, Orbit. We're coming. Not that one. I'm under this one. All right, Orbit. That's enough. Come out, come out, wherever you are. No way. We're playing hide and seek. You have to find me. Come on! I'm over here! <gasps> uh, uh. As we stop looking for him, he'll come back to the rocket. to 
think I'd be stuck on the hide-and-seek planet forever. We wouldn't have left you, Orbit. But you were making so much stuff up, we didn't know when you were telling the truth. <laughs> I know you're right. I'm sorry. But even though I got myself into trouble, that was the best game of hide-and-seek ever. Mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the hide-and-seek planet to find some good hiding places. But Orbit found a hat that made him invisible. So instead of hiding, he played tricks on us. Then Orbit fell down a hole and called us for help. We thought he was still tricking us. But when we found out that he really did need our help, we came to his rescue right away. We learned that when someone always makes things up, it's hard to know when they're telling the truth. I'd suggest that always telling the truth is the way to go. For sure. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, hide and seek planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. We're playing circus. Sounds like fun. Let's see where you can go. The Toolbox Planet. I love tools. You sure do, TK. But we want to see jugglers. The Thimble Planet is a great place to go if we wanted to learn to sew. But we want to see acrobats. Oh. Oh, now that looks like the place to go. Yes, the circus planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Oh! 
That's strange. It must be the quietest circus ever. I don't hear a sound. What does the sign say, Emma? It's a rhyme. We're taking a break and have gone away, so the circus is closed oh, just huh? for today. We've worked so hard, it's for the best. Oh. Please stay and play and be our guest. Rusty Robots! What fun is a circus planet without a circus? But the sign says we can stay and play here, Orbit. Maybe we can put on our own circus. Huh? That's a great idea, Emma. I could be the juggler. And as you all know, I could be the acrobat. And this is my chance to try walking on a tightrope up in the air. <laughs> what are you going to do for our circus, Rob? Uh, um, well, um, it's a secret. Okay, then. Let's go see what we can find to use in our circus act. gonna do <sighs> oh hi squeak have you come to see the show TK's gonna juggle Emma's gonna be an acrobat and orbit's gonna walk a tightrope what about me mm, I can't do anything I can't juggle I'm not an acrobat and I can't walk a tightrope you think there must be something I can do Okay, let's go see if I can find something to do for the circus show. But I don't think there is. Hmm, Emma, TK, and Orbit must be back there getting ready. Should we take a peek? Ooh. Wow! <laughs> you think I should try to juggle like TK, Squeak? Okay. <laughs> I guess I'd need a lot of practice to be a juggler like TK. Rope, but I think I can do this. I guess I need a lot more practice to learn to do that, too. I can do that? <laughs> hey, what happened? <laughs> I guess I need a lot more practice to do what Emma does, too. I'm ready to do my circus show. Me, too. And me, three. How about you, Rob? Uh, um, well, I'll be ready in a minute. <laughs> I'll just have to tell them the truth. I don't have any circus talent. I can't put on a show like they can. <sighs> you, you think I'm funny? Then maybe I can put on a circus show like the others. I can't be a juggler, I can't be an acrobat, and I can't be a tightrope walker, but I can be.
you. You were great too. Not only did we all have fun and see a really great show, we got to be in one too. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? circus performers. So we went to the circus planet. But the circus people weren't there, so we decided to put on our own show. TK was the juggler, Emma was the acrobat, and Orbit was the tightrope walker. It takes lots and lots of practice to do all those things. I couldn't do anything like they could. But Squeak made me see that I could be funny and make him laugh. So, I did a circus clown show. Well done, everyone. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye, circus Did you hear that? It sounds like someone is leaving us a space mail message. Hi, everyone. You have a space mail message from another galaxy. Hmm, who's it from? It's from TK's cousin, Rika. Rika? Really? Can we hear it? Of course. <laughs> Zilla Wing Team, TK. Huh? Banky Banky? Hmm, that's your cousin? What did she say? <sighs> I don't know. Rika speaks Robozanian, a robot language. It's only spoken on her planet. I don't know how to speak it. Mission Control, you know lots of languages. Can you tell us what Rika is saying? Rika says, hello, TK. Oh. <laughs> but unfortunately, hello is the only word I know in Robozanian. Oh, that's nice of her to write. I just wish I could speak Robozanian. Then we could talk to each other. Oh, why don't you learn how to speak her language, TK? Oh, Orbit, that's a great idea. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Again, how can I help you? We need to help TK learn another language. Yeah, the Robozinian language. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, circus planet. That looks like fun. Hmm, it does, but I don't think it will help TK learn another language. Time planet, me! <laughs> Do we have time for another planet? I don't think this one will help TK either. Language planet. That's perfect. Yes, the language planet. Wonderful choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the language planet. Language 
scientists from all over the universe. Hmm. Uh, how will we find the one we need? TK wants to learn another language, so she can speak to her cousin from another galaxy. Wonderful! What language do you wish to learn? Uh, my cousin speaks Robozanian. Robozanian? Yes! We have just the language book to help you. It's sitting on the cart, waiting to be... Uh -huh. ...shelved. Oh dear, it seems Jonah has taken it away. Who's Jonah? He's my brother. He's also our clerk. It's his job to keep everything organized. Hmm. Come on, maybe we can catch up to him. Wait, there's something you need to know about Jonah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there he is, over there. Yoo-hoo, over here. Jonah! Hmm. Oh, no! Hmm. He's a speedy little guy, isn't he? Don't worry. We'll catch him. Right, Emma? Uh, you guys go ahead. We'll clean up here. Okay. Come on, TK. Jonah, we need to ask you something. Uh, maybe he didn't hear me. Jonah! I bet he heard me that time. Hmm. I think he's ignoring us. We'll see about that. Hmm. Hola! Hello! <gasps> wow! It's a talking book. A Spanish talking book. Me! What a great way to learn a language. Konnichiwa. Hello. Wow. This one is Japanese. Hmm. I think this one is Alien 101. Zing Zang Zuna. Greetings. There sure are a lot of languages. You can say that again. There sure are a lot of languages. <laughs> A speedy little guy. We need to get his attention somehow. Wait, that's it. Do you have anything that makes a lot of noise? Um, maybe. Let's see. A cowbell. <laughs> Not loud enough. Symbols. This should work. Library. Oh, we're sorry. We were just having trouble getting Jonah's attention. I had tried to tell you earlier. Jonah can't hear you. And he only knows sign language. Sign language? What galaxy is that from? Sign language is used in many galaxies. Usually by those who are deaf or hearing impaired. Oh, Jonah is deaf. And that's why he didn't answer us when we called out his name. He couldn't hear us. Oh. Jonah says good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Oh, but if Jonah can't hear, then we need to sign with our hands if we want to speak to him. Right? That's right. But we don't know sign language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how he does it. Good afternoon, Jonah. Oh. Very good. It just takes some practice. Can we ask Jonah where to find books on how to speak Robozanian? Yes. 
This is the sign for Robozanian. Hey, this is fun! And this is the sign for book. If you put them together, you have... Robozanian book. Jonah, do you have the Robozanian book? Zula Wingding, hello. Zula Wingding, hello. Yeah. You did it, TK. You're speaking Robozanian. Can I borrow the book so I can learn more words and practice? I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Thanks to Jonah and the language librarian. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet in the language library. <laughs> Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the language planet to help TK learn a new language so she could speak to her cousin Rika. We learned there are lots of different languages out there. Konnichiwa. That's the Japanese word for hello. We discovered that not everyone can hear, like our new friend Jonah. Jonah helped to teach us about a very special language where you only use your hands, sign language. Like every language, it just takes practice to learn. Wonderful. It sounds like you learned a lot. Mission accomplished. Now, I think it's time to go home, don't you? Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! Goodbye, Language Planet. We've got a big ah, 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 ah. problem. <laughs> TK's not feeling well. I think I must have come down with. Ah, 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 Everyone. Maybe you picked up a space virus. TK, you should sneeze into your arm. You'll make Orbit sick sneezing on him like that. <sighs> I, I, uh, <laughs> excuse me. Yicky. Yicky is right. We need to get you some help. We sure do. And that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We think TK might have caught a space virus. We need to get her some help. Ah, oh, dear. Poor TK. We'll find you some help right away. Ooh, sports planet. Playing sports is fun, but not so much fun when you're feeling sick. Magic planet. Magic tricks may cheer TK up, but I think she needs more than that to make her feel better. <laughs> Fix it, planet! That's it! That's where robots go when they're sick. The perfect place. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your station! 
positions and buckle your seatbelt. Stop the fix it planet. Uh. Come on, TK. I think the fix it clinic is this way. Nice it's here, wow. It's nice here. Orbit, are you feeling okay? Emma, you got us here. What? <laughs> Take us apart? Don't be silly. The doctor will help fix you and make you feel better. That's what doctors do. What is the problem and how can I have? Oh dear, your skin has turned green. Huh? No, I'm supposed to be green. It's my friends that are sick. They've all turned blue. 
Looks like Rob and TK keep sneezing, two, and one. Orbit talks really funny. There, hello. Oh my, it looks like your friends have caught the blue space virus. It affects everybody differently, but lucky for you, it only affects robots. Will, will you need to take us apart to fix us? Oh, oh dear, no! What I do need to do is have you get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluids. Phew. Oh, phew. Here, this will help speed things up, oh, and it's fun! There, you see the blue virus you caught? A virus infects the inside of our bodies and can make you feel sick. Fortunately, a robot virus is easy to remedy. I can gobble it up using my robot antivirus program. Just remember, you still need to rest and drink plenty of liquids. We don't want you getting sick again. Phew! Thanks, Thanks Doc. Doc. I feel much better. And you sound better too, Orbit. Thanks, Dr. Bot. Looks like that. Mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, TK was sick. She had caught a nasty space virus. Planet to help TK feel better. <laughs> TK forgot to sneeze into her sleeve and sneezed all over poor Orbit. Soon he caught the virus too. We were finally about to head to the clinic when I caught the virus too. We were nervous to see the doctor but she turned out to be really nice. We learned that doctors only want to make you feel better. And after our visit and a bit of rest, all of us feel great. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, will like it. It's kind of plain. Hey, is that for Squeak? Huh? Yes, it's a surprise. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think? I like it, but it is a little plain, I guess. And kind of small. Yeah, huh. that's what I thought. You know, we could help you make it fancier. And taller. And more fun. Maybe together we can make a whole new mouse house. A bigger, fancier, fun mouse house. That sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, 
everyone. How can I help you today? We want to make a great mouse house for Squeak. That sounds like a super mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, the tree planet. That looks like fun. Hmm. Yeah, but we don't want to build a tree house. Hmm. The cheese planet. That's Squeak's favorite. <laughs> True. But if we make him a house of cheese, Squeak might eat it. Hmm. The craft planet. That's perfect. <laughs> yes, the craft planet. Terrific choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Squeak's an expert at finding things. Huh? This way, he won't see it and ruin the surprise. Uh. Good thinking. Okay, let's get started. Hmm. I think we should make Squeak's house long and wide, like a big block of cheese. I was thinking it could be tall and shiny, like a tower. Oh, I like that idea. A tower? I thought we'd make it more fun, with lots of colors. Yes, something fancy. Tall and shiny sound better to me. Me too. Okay then, here's what we'll do. TK and I will make a mouse house, and Orbit and Emma can make one too. And then we'll see which one Squeak likes better. You're, You're on. on. Well, at least that's one thing we can all agree on. <laughs> So how tall should we make it? Really tall. Yeah. Hmm. We can stack these boxes on top of each other. We're going to make the tallest, coolest mouse house ever. You got it. I think we could build a really fun mouse house with these craft sticks. Hmm. But why live in a house when you can live in a palace? That's it. We'll make our mouse palace even bigger and more colorful than their mouse tower. <laughs> huh? They're making a palace. A mouse palace? Well, we're making a mouse tower. And it's going to be the best mouse house because we'll make it even taller. Time to get rocking, TK. to see out of. I bet Orbit and Emma didn't think to add one of those. Uh. 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 Oh. Uh. Our 
Hers is definitely taller. <laughs> but ours is much fancier. Ours has two flags. But ours has lots of colors. Well, we'll just have to let Squeak decide which mouse house is best. Although, I think I know which one he'll choose. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rob. Huh? Let's move it into the rocket. I can't wait to show him. Uh-oh, it won't fit through the doorway. It's too tall. Oh, huh? that's too bad. I guess now he'll have to pick between ours and <laughs> ours. Come on, Emma. Let's go show Squeak his new mouse house. Uh, oh, oh no, be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. I don't think we should move it. It's too delicate. Hmm. I can't believe we made our mouse house too tall. And I can't believe we made ours too fragile. What were we thinking? We turned it into a contest. Mm. I guess we got carried away trying to outdo each other. And we forgot all about Squeak. Mm. So now he doesn't have a mouse house at all. <gasps> Shh! Hear that? asleep in Rob's mouse house. I told you he's an expert at finding things. I think he likes the house you made for him, Rob. I guess he doesn't need a tower. Or a palace. Just a nice, cozy place to curl up in. I'd say it's mission accomplished. <laughs> or maybe just a small mission accomplished. But sometimes, small is best. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the craft planet to make a big, fancy, fun mouse house for Squeak. But we couldn't agree on what kind of mouse house to make. So we split into teams. Only we got really carried away. One was far too delicate, and the other was far too tall. We learned that we should have worked together as a team instead of turning it into a contest and trying to beat each other. But the good thing is, Squeak really liked the small mouse house that I made for him. He sure does. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Craft Planet. Hi, everybody. You're just in time. Sounds like 
we've got a mission. And you know what that means? It's time for us to pick a planet. Let's go. Which one stops? Nobody <laughs> knows. Wow, it's the rainbow planet. Ooh. It looks pretty, but I don't think we could play or sleep on rainbows. Ooh. I think it would be too cold to sleep on the ice planet. Hmm. That looks like a good place for a slumber party. Yes, the bedtime planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown! Hurry everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Tea cane, 
You're supposed to be hiding. We have to stay up all night and play games. trying to keep us all awake? have sisters. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the bedtime planet for a slumber party. We played lots of fun games. So many that we got very tired. But Orbit wanted to keep playing. Then, we discovered Orbit was afraid he might have bad dreams. So TK let Orbit borrow her teddy bot to sleep with. Then he was okay. We learned that staying up late sometimes is fun. But in the end, you always have to go to bed. And sometimes, we need a little help going to sleep. Well done! I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, to the space fair. TK's got the tickets. I 
sure do, Rob. Four tickets. One, two, three, four. Whee! I can't wait. All those space games and rides. Rock and robots. Me too, Emma. Wait, where are Orbit and Squeak? Right here. <gasps> what happened to Squeak? <laughs> I guess Squeak got a little dirty cleaning the rocket's landing gear. Oh, hmm. A little dirty? I'd say he got a lot dirty. We can't take Squeak to the space barrel like this, can we? We'll need to get him cleaned up. And then we'll go to the fair. Hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. can I help you today? We need to get Squeak clean so we can all go to the space fair. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Book Planet! Oh, I love reading. Me too. But reading isn't going to get Squeak clean. Circus Planet! <laughs> Think of all the clowns! Fun! But they'll be too busy clowning around to help Squeak. The scrub a dub planet. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, the scrub a dub planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Squeak and the Super Sudzer. Next, it's the scrubbers. <laughs> 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 
should turn it off. Oh no. I think I broke it. The switch is stuck. All that's left are the buffers. Ah, that's more like it. Hey! Mommy, go! Ah! Uh -oh. Sensor is broken. Oh, it's all my fault for being in such a big hurry. Don't worry, Emma. If you get those parts back, I'm sure I can fix it. <laughs> we can do that. What about me? I'll try to get Orbit unstuck. And we'll go get the missing parts. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Scrubadil planet so Orbit could get clean. We learned it's best not to rush things because we broke the super sensor machine trying to make it go faster. But Emma and I had fun finding the missing parts. TK had fun fixing the machine. And we all had fun getting clean again. We learned that just doing the things we like to do can be just as much fun as going to a fair. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, Planet. 
after her cousin Mia space cat Violet. Violet needs something, but we don't know what it is. Hmm. Check the list Mia gave you, Emma. Everything a pet needs. Number one, a pet needs food. Food, check. Number two, a pet needs water. Water, check again. Three, a pet needs a place to go to the bathroom. Litter box, check. That's everything on the list. Violet obviously needs something. Oh, I'm a terrible pet sitter. <sighs> hmm. Maybe Mia forgot to put something on the list. But what? What does Violet need? Hmm. Hey, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We're taking care of Emma's cousin, Space Cat Violet. She needs something, but we don't know what it is. Oh, I love pets. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, the water planet. But I don't think Violet wants to go swimming. Oh, what about the stinky foot planet? Yeah. No, I don't think anyone wants to go there. Now that looks like a place that we might find what Violet needs. Yay! The Pet Shop Planet. Good choice. Get ready for a countdown. must be toys. Uh, wait! Ooh. Ooh, oops! <laughs> oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, toy bones are for dogs, not space cats or robots. <laughs> Don't worry, Violet. We'll find whatever it is you need. Right, Rob? Right, Emma. This place is huge. So we can split up and search for the space cat department. Violet, you be a good cat and stay here. Doesn't look like the space cat department. This must be for the POUSs. Huh? The pets of unusual size. Yes, Orbit. It must be for some really huge alien hamster. But that still doesn't help Violet. I don't know, Emma. This is pretty fun. Maybe Violet would like it. Woohoo! Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> These fish bowls make our faces look funny. But I don't think Violet wants a fish bowl or fish food. Closer to finding out what Violet wants. Look out! Whoa! Whoa! Get out of the way! Ah! Whoa! Yikes! Whoa! We've got to stop this thing. Yes, please. should fix that hamster wheel. A little higher. And there! TK, find something to get the wheel fastened in place. Tape can fix a lot of things, but it's not going to work for this. TK, hurry! Uh. Ooh, my favorite wrench! I'm getting closer. TK, hurry! Aha! This bolt is perfect! <laughs> I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Mia's pet space cat needed. So we traveled to the pet shop planet. There was everything for every kind of space pet there. We learned that there are things every pet needs. Food and water and a place to go to the bathroom. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> we also learned that a pet needs a toy to play with to give it exercise. It was also a good way for us to play with her. All pets need lots of love, too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. 
Day, the day everyone gets to pretend to be anything they want. I'm going to be Jungle Explorer Emma Jones. All right! And I'm going to be interplanetary rock star orbit. Yo! Oh, avast me, hearties. Pirate TK is setting sail to find the biggest treasure ever. And Space Sheriff Rob is just the cowboy to protect it. Ooh, my computer chip just had a brainstorm. Why don't we put our characters together in a play for Imagination Day? I've always wanted to be in a play. Me too. Me three. One, two, three. Now we need to find a place to put on our play. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. to put on a play for Imagination Day. A play? What fun! I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Bedtime planet? Oh, no. That would be the place to go for a nap. Not to put on a play, guys. The veggie planet. It's the perfect place for an afternoon snack, but not for putting on a play, either. No way. Now that looks like the place to go to put on a play. Yes, the theater planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. TK can find the perfect costume somewhere what? else. Aha! My tummy trunk! Of course! I'm sure there's something in here. Aha! Oh, shiver me timbers and a great big arm! 
<laughs> That's the most excellent eye patch you have there, Pirate TK. <laughs> That's Pirate Princess TK to you, Rockstar Orbit. Awesome! Okay, so let the play begin! <laughs> Avast me, hearties! Arr, it be treasure! Dawdlin' dawdlies, there's at least a hundred space trolls out there. But never fear, Space Sheriff Rob will never let them capture you, Rockstar Orbit. Quick, saddle up your horse! My horse? Huh? Wait a minute, no one's capturing me! I'm going to have a concert! Those troll dudes are here for my show! Just ask Emma. She's my biggest fan. She comes to all my concerts and follows me around the universe. Go! No way, Orbit. I'm jungle explorer Emma. I discover things and rescue poor, helpless jungle creatures. I don't follow rock stars around the universe. <sighs> Poor rock star Orbit is lost in the jungle. The only way he can get to his concert is if jungle explorer Emma rescues him. Da -da -da -da. I'm coming, Orbit. I won't let those rock star eating trolls get you. Rock star eating trolls? Sorry, Miss Emma, but I'm the space sheriff. I do the rescuing around these parts. I'm not getting eaten. My fans love me. I want to put on a concert. What do you mean, these parts? We're in the jungle. No, we're not. We're on a space ranch. No way. We're at my concert. You're supposed to ask for my autograph. Why would a jungle explorer want your autograph? <sighs> because you're my biggest fan. No, I'm going to rescue you. Hmm. No, I'm going to rescue him. But I don't want to be rescued. Yes, you do. No! Isn't this Imagination Day? Didn't we come here to put on a play? Well, for your information, I haven't had one chance to be Pirate Princess yet because you three have been arguing so much. So, to put on the play, we're going to have to figure out a way for all of our imaginary characters to do it together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Me, too. <sighs> oh, I have an idea how we can do this. Treasure! Thanks for helping me get through the jungle, Space Explorer, Emma. I couldn't have done it without you. <gasps> oh, no! Yikes. Oh. Space trolls! They found us! Oh, no. <gasps> we must protect the statue. A vast rock star orbit! Yes! Later, dudes! Everyone, hot tail it for the hills. Space sure Rob will keep them busy while you folks escape. Eat pillow, space trolls. I'll help you defeat the trolls, Space Sheer Rob. Thanks, Jungle Explorer Emma. Count me in, baby. Play, where we all played our favorite character. And we did it all together. Yay! Yeah! So I'd say it's... Mission Control? 
Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the theater plant to put on a play for Imagination Day. We all pretended to be different things. Orbit was a rock star, Emma was a jungle explorer, TK was a pirate princess, and I was a space sheriff. But we were so excited playing our own characters, we had problems listening to each other and playing together. But TK reminded us that although it was fun to be whatever we wanted to be, we should always think about our friends too. We learned that it's much more fun if we find ways to share our games and play together. Well done. I think it's time to go home. And up, buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Goodbye, Peter Planet. Japanese art of paper folding. You can make all kinds of wonderful things out of paper. Like a paper airplane. Let's go to the origami planet. <laughs> origami planet. The perfect place. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
everything is origami here. So, where can we start origamiing? Right here. <laughs> so, where's the paper? Okay, Orbit, how do we make a paper airplane? First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. A rectangle has two sides longer than the other sides. Hmm, mine is square. All the sides are the same length. Uh, I'm sure it'll still work. Wait, Emma, I think we have to follow the steps. Orbit, what do we do first? Fold it in half like this. Then you, then <gasps> Emma, Orbit didn't finish telling us what to do. Oh, he was going too slowly, so I decided to wing it. Get it? Wing it? <laughs> <laughs> Follow the steps and take your time. That takes too long. All done. Your plane looks different. What did you do? I just followed Orbit's instructions. Slow and steady. And added a couple of extra folds on the wings. Hmm. Slow and steady. I can do that. I think. Okay, Orbit. One more time, please. I promise I'll listen this time. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. Rectangle, please. Thank you. Neo, fold it in half from left to right. Hmm. Left hand is here. Right is here. So left to right. Neo, fold one corner back like this. Like this? Yeah, and do the same on the other side. This isn't so hard. Oh, I want to decorate my plane. Oh, I can help you. Mm. Mm. It doesn't have teeth, does it? Spatula? No, we're not cooking it. Markers? Perfect. Thanks, TK. I'm done. I did everything exactly like Orbit said. Looks good, Emma. Does it fly? I don't know yet. Here it goes. Hold on, Rob. The mission isn't accomplished yet. I've got an idea. Ready for takeoff. Three, two, one, let go.
Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma wanted to learn how to make a paper airplane, so we went to the origami planet. We learned all about origami, or Japanese paper folding. There are lots and lots of fun things you can make with just a sheet of paper. When Emma tried to make her paper plane too quickly, it didn't turn out very well. But when she slowed down and listened carefully to the instructions, she had no trouble at all. Doing things quickly is fun, but sometimes it really pays off to slow down, listen, and do it right. <laughs> Done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Oregon Planet. Sounds like a difficult mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Playground planet. <laughs> I don't think a playground will help us with our mission. <gasps> the music planet? I don't think we'll find any puzzle pieces there. Now that looks like the perfect place to find a puzzle piece. Yes, the puzzle planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
for an end to your troubles, just solve three puzzles. But if you cannot, one returns to this spot. Now step through the door for puzzles galore. So, if we solve three puzzles, we'll find the missing puzzle piece. But, hmm, there's nothing on the other side of the door. Hmm. Ooh. Whoa! Cool! Let's go! <laughs> Guys, wait for me! Huh? Our first puzzle! And it's easy peasy! <laughs> the clock is ticking! You have to put the piece in before time runs out! It's an octagon! An octagon has eight sides! Ooh, ooh! Uh, hmm. Octagon! Octagon! <gasps> octagon! I guess it's all up 
Dr. Orbit. <sighs> I guess it's all up to me. Red, yellow, red, green, blue. Uh, here it goes. Red, yellow, red, green. Rob, you're back. What did you learn in your mission? Well, we had to do three puzzles. The first one was a puzzle we had to sort by shapes, and we all worked together to solve it in time. For the second puzzle, we learned how to play tic-tac-toe. Orbit didn't like the game at first, but he kept at it and helped solve the puzzle. The third puzzle was remembering a pattern. It was tricky, but Orbit learned how to remember things by watching and listening carefully. He solved it and won the puzzle piece prize. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, sitting in front of me, or I can't reach things way up high without climbing on a stool. I just wish sometimes that I was bigger. I want to be at least as big as the rest of you. Hmm, huh? maybe there's a place where you can get bigger, TK. You really think so, Orbit? Why not? The robot galaxy is a pretty big place itself. That sounds like we've got a mission. Yeah. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to know if there's anywhere in the whole robot galaxy where TK can get bigger. Hmm, that's a tricky one. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Huh? Huh? Ice planet, burr. Nope, I want to get big, not cold. Mushroom planet. I don't think anything is big there. That looks like a planet where TK could get bigger. Yes, that's the super-sized planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
the super-sized planet. Mushroom? Uh-oh, I think we shrunk. No, we didn't. It's not us. It's the mushroom. It's super size. Uh, whoa! Watch out, TK! You're rolling! Hey, TK, are you okay? Yes, thanks to this soft blue flower. And it smells so nice. What? Why are you all looking at me like that? Because you're big, TK. Really big. Really, really big. Whoa! I am really, really, really big. But how? <gasps> the flower! I sniffed the blue flower and it made me big. Is this cool or what? I'm so big, I bet I can see halfway around the planet. Whoa! 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 Sorry, I didn't mean to cause an earthquake. It's just, I'm so big. I wish I had a giant chalkboard to measure me now. Look out! Oh. Huh? Huh? Nice catch! Boy, I want to be supersized like TK. Me too. Where's another blue flower? No, wait. Look how big TK is. Huh? Now look how small the ship is. Hmm. Oh no, I'm too big. I won't fit in the rocket. What am I gonna do? Look, huh? that butterfly is a regular size. Which means not everything on the supersized planet is supersized. Which might mean if small things can grow big, then big things can grow small. Exactly. You really think so, Ruth? Oh no! I sneezed them away! Ooh. Where are we? Uh oh! Huh? More flowers! Don't sniff them! Or they'll turn us into giants too! No, it was a blue flower that made TK big. These are red. It's okay, Orbit. You don't have to be afraid of the flowers. Not the flowers! Back! Huh? I don't mind little bees. I just don't want a giant bee thinking I'm a flower. We have to get back to TK and find some way to shrink her back to normal. Where did they go? Don't worry, I'll find you! better. At least not this big. I can't fit in the rocket. I can't find my friends. Wait, my tummy trunk. I must have something to help me find them. Uh... Oh, there's no way to get over those giant spikes. Do you hear something? Hmm. Huh? That 
giant soccer ball come from? Hmm. Hmm. TK's Tom Trunk! Trunk. did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the super-sized planet so TK could get bigger. We learned you can do some pretty neat things when you're big. But it also means you might not be able to do other things. But most of all, we learned that big or small, it's always best to just be yourself. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! from her favorite storybook. Ah! Someone's been nibbling on my favorite storybook. <laughs> I think I know who did it. He's blue and has a wind-up key in his back. Squeak! Oops, he must be hungry. I forgot to feed him. almost empty. There's not enough mouse food in here, even for you. That's why Squeak nibbled on your book, Emma. He was hungry. Well, he can't keep eating my book. Certainly not. Books aren't very good for him to eat anyway. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? Squeak is out of food, and he started eating Emma's books. We need to find something for him to eat. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, the bowling ball planet. Bowling is fun, but maybe later. No, we won't find anything to eat on the playground planet. 
Now that looks like a place where we can find something for Squeak to eat. Even robot mice love cheese. Yes, the cheese planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Cheese here. I just wanted one little piece. 
But that was holding the bridge together. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Squeak, wait! Good thing the ground is made of cheese. It's soft to land on. But how will we get out of this hole? I might have something to help. Oh, dear. I only have a short ladder. <sighs> Aha! A rope would be great. But we have nothing to tie it to. Hmm. Well, this is all I have. And a plank of wood won't get us out either. Maybe it will. You stand there. how we can tell which one is Squeak. Like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for 
us to pick a planet. Planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The ice planet. That's a cool planet. But we might get cold sleeping in a tent there. The popping corn planet would be a great place to go to watch movies, but not for camping. That looks perfect. Excellent choice. That's the camping planet. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, look at that! Huh? Huh? Last one in's a rotten robot! Hey, <laughs> no fair! <laughs> Water doesn't unglue the glue. You had to say that. <gasps> Rocket ship ho! <home! laughs> <laughs> oh, yay! Yay! We did it! Cleaning up and recycling all that garbage helped get us home. Well, I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Orbit and I learned all about camping on the camping planet. We learned that good campers pick up their trash and leave their campsite clean for the next camper. But most of all, we learned that recycling is very important. We used trash nobody wanted to make a boat that brought us safely back to our rocket ship. That was great. Well done. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, I've 
got. It's a magic kit. I can use it to do all kinds of magic. Wow, really? Let me show you. Rob, you forgot the book. Oh, don't worry, it's the hat that we need. <laughs> For my first performance, I'll make something disappear. Uh, who wants to disappear? Orbit, how about your camera? Uh, maybe some other time. Aw, <laughs> oh, thanks, Squeak. Uh, Squeak? Kind of magic to get Squeak back. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Sounds like an important mission. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, theater planet. <laughs> Sounds like a fun place to dress up, but I don't think that will help us. The Halloween planet might have magic. <laughs> Squeak won't be on Halloween planet. We'll go there later. Magic planet, perfect. Yes, the magic planet. Excellent choice. <laughs> Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. It didn't come with any wands. Don't worry. I think I can help with that. Hmm. No. A feather duster? <laughs> That's not right. Hmm. Aha! Spoon! Hmm. That's not a wand. Let's see if it works. not Squeak. Rob, you turned Squeak into a rabbit. At least he reappeared. How do we fix him? Oh, I don't know. You mean Squeak is gonna be a bunny forever? Maybe the book. Wait, Squeak. He was just here. We 
lost him again? Mm-hmm. Emma, wait! Ah! Emma! <gasps> huh? Huh? Here I am. How did you... But, but you were... It's a trap door. Why? Ah! <laughs> cool. But where's Squeak? Rob, you can learn how to do these tricks if you... But tricks won't fix Squeak. We need to learn real magic. Oh, hey, huh? look at this. What's this? It's magic cards. Here, look. Whoa. I love cards. They have pictures and numbers on them. Pick a card, any card. Guess what card you have? <laughs> really? Ooh. You can do that? You have a five of hearts. <gasps> oh, that was amazing, Orbit. Here, let me try. Pick a card, any card. Ooh, a seven of diamonds. Uh uh. uh a ten of spades. No, sir. Hmm. A two of clubs. Uh. Get it. How did you do it, Orbit? <laughs> it doesn't take magical powers. I just looked in the mirror behind you. <laughs> it's another trick. Oh, we don't need tricks to fix Squeak, Orbit. We need magic. Hey, Ro, look! all about making things disappear. Uh -huh. Keep your eye on the ball. Which shell is the ball under? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. This one. Let me try. How about this one? Then it's this one. Whoa! <gasps> you made it disappear. <laughs> it's not that hard, Rob. The book explains how to do all these things. Oh, another trick. It's not real magic. <sighs> Just because a trick can be learned, it doesn't mean it's not magic. Yeah, try reading the book, Rob. Here's the magic hat trick. See, it doesn't say how to fix things again. The last thing it shows is... <gasps> Hold on. That's it. <gasps> hey, come back. I need that. Knowing how. That's the trick. Yay! Yay! I think this is a big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn in your mission? Reappear, but instead he got turned into a bunny. There was a special closet, but it turned out that there was a secret door in the bottom. It was just a simple trick. Anyone can learn a simple trick, but real magic? That's very complicated. 
Then Orbit showed us a card trick. He could guess what card I picked. He did it by checking in the mirror behind me. I found out how to get Sweet back to normal. I just needed to be a little more patient and read the instructions in the magic book. I learned the trick. Nobody else knows how he did it. And that's what makes it magic. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Magic Planet. Rah! Hi, everyone. Did I fool you? Come on in, you're just in time. Long before there were people on Earth, there lived giant reptiles called dinosaurs. Ooh. And the most terrible tempered dinosaur of all was the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex stood about 20 feet tall. That's almost as tall as the rocket. And he could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. Ah! Oh, sorry, Squeak. Wow, dinosaurs sound scary. I think they sound cool. Where do they live? Dinosaurs no longer exist. They've been extinct for 65 million years. Extinct? <laughs> extinct, Orbit. Extinct means they're no longer alive. Mm. The only thing left of the dinosaurs are old fossils and bones. Ah. Mm. Hey, maybe we could find a place that collects fossils and dinosaur bones. How cool would that be? <gasps> yes, a dinosaur exhibit. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. help you today. We want to find a dinosaur exhibit, but we're not certain where to look. Oh, that's a tricky one. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, race planet. <laughs> I love racing. Racing is a lot of fun, TK, but I don't think we'd find dinosaurs on that planet. Oh, I love the theater. We could put on a play. That would be a great place if we wanted to dress up like a dinosaur, but I don't think we'll find any bones there, Emma. Oh, what about this planet? It looks like it might be a good place. You chose the museum planet. Museums carry all sorts of ancient bones and marvelous wonders. Excellent choice. Okay then, get ready for countdown.
Looks like we found the right place. Cool. Guard dog? That's a funny exhibit. Doggy? Doggy? Is the rocket. Orbit, you should take a picture. Orbit, picture of what? Orbit, we can have fun putting it back together. Just think, a life-size dinosaur puzzle. Oh. Uh, I think we're missing something. Hmm. Greasy gears, you're right. Where's his other one? Hey, there's something slimy here on the floor. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, yuck! There's wet, slimy stuff everywhere. Look, the trail leads in here. Hey, look, a feathered quill and parchment. That's what people used to write with before pens were invented. They dip the quill in that bottle of ink and write on the parchment. Parchment is like paper we use today, but really, really rough. Cool! There's more drooly slime over here. Hmm. And a helmet is missing. Huh? What could make such a mess? We're the only ones here. <laughs> hey, where'd my toy go? <laughs> oh, catapult! Knights used them in ancient times to throw things at castles, like spears and rock. I like to rock. Toy? 
Aha! This should do the job. We solved the mystery, made a new friend, and found a dinosaur. Great job, everyone. Looks like that's mission accomplished. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we learned that dinosaurs lived long before there were people, but have been extinct now for over 65 million years. But you can still see exhibits of dinosaur bones and fossils in museums. So that's where we went. We found an awesome display of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but there was a problem. He was missing the bone that formed his arm. We discovered a robot dog had taken the dinosaur bone and a bunch of other stuff, including my toy. Poor little guy, he just needed his own toy to play with. We finally put the missing bone back in its place and made a fun new friend. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five.